I've been looking forward to this one. Talking about KS and the models I love the most is just one of my favorite hobbies. For me, I became a, a KS initiate back in 89. And one day I went into a local shop uh, who had miniatures and they had a white wolf. I remember, I've got it right here. Number 116 from August uh, 89. And it showed Space Marines on. I was, I was sold and I started searching and I found the first core rule book, uh, first edition Warhammer back from 86. Then uh, some years later, second edition came out in a box and you know, my brain just scattered all over the world. It was, it was crazy. Evil looking dudes with, you know, weapons too big to handle in real life. I just loved it. I was on the track for chaos already then. I really tried my best sometimes to become a seamless player or a bot. Tournament wise, it was it always ended up with chaos. And, and, and every time I needed to do models, it was chaos. Chaos, chaos, chaos. I think one of the things that keeps dragging me back into chaos whenever I try to, to get away from it is the endless possibilities of converting. And I just love that. You know, I love the fact that it's my hobby. I get my miniatures, it's like a canvas, and I, I can do with it what I want. So whenever you have an idea for miniatures or a color scheme you want to try out, it's so easy to go chaos because if you play uh, Blood Angels, it's going to be kind of red or black. But if you play chaos, it doesn't matter, it can be anything. So about the 12 40k armies I have, half of them are full chaos. The latest army I did for chaos was the Empress Children. If you haven't seen the video, check it out, it's really funny. Uh, and it was with speed paint when it was still experimental. One of the things that I started with, my first army in 3rd edition, was World Leaders. And it's basically been my army ever since. I've tried all different other 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 army spots. What do you just keep I keep going back to? I love the narrative about a game as well. Even though I'm a competitive player, I, I have this whole story running in my mind. So Garth the Destroyer might some people know uh, from the Danish uh, competitive scene. Start out as a champion in a unit, uh, and then in third edition, then in fourth edition he became Chaos Lord with jump pack. And in 5th edition, he became a Demon Prince and a Juggernaut when you could really hang the beard out to dry, you could make him completely broken. That was, I love that. And that Chaos Army has been building up. Uh, it's got new, it's got old models, and I just love that about an army when you build it up. But now with the new Chaos Codex World Leaders coming out in, let's hope, it's around Christmas, that would be the best gift ever. Um, I'm going to take Garth and upgrade him again to a greater demon. I think he deserves it. He's been with me for a long time. Another honorable mention in my army, which is something that's quite unique, I haven't actually told anyone before, is Mike McVee, when he started the workshop, was like the god of painting. He still is, but he was like the god of painting back then. When Jonas was sitting, Jonas Fairing, my co-founder of Army Painter, was sitting, painting with Mike McVee, and Mike McVee taught him all these tricks and, and things in, in every metal team, um, he gave him the old corn circles, the one, two, three steps. And when I was uh, entering workshop, uh, Jonas hired me, actually. He gave me those corn circles. And I still have them today to this day. They're part of the army and I've already had to touch up on a few of them, but you can see how they how they progress uh, slowly um, from being very simple and then uh, up to where, just see, looking at the gloves here, you can see it's just remarkable blend work. And this is from back in the early 90s. These angry marines are just the price of my little collection. And the highlight even to this day, this was early 90s, is just remarkable to say the least. After about uh, eight, nine years of playing corn almost exclusively, uh, I just wanted, to, I, I really started to paint armies for real. And obviously the next role was Nurgle, because Nurgle is one of those that you can just, you can paint it very, very fast and it's just very forgiving. And this army in here was actually the full size Nurgle army back in sixth edition. I wanted something shooting, I wanted to try something else and then just the close combat phase. So I could learn that one too. And um, I had great success with this army. Not as much as with the Combo Circus though, but they always ended up fairly high in, on the tournament scene, but they just, they're too slow for me. They weren't exactly what I wanted back then. But that was actually my second army, because the first time was the Cultist army. And I played up with, you know, lots of uh, Hildrakes and uh, just Cultists everywhere. And I converted them as Imperial Guard, because I actually thought I wanted to play Imperial Guard, but I couldn't just, I couldn't paint Cadians. It was just too ordinary. So I had to do them with, you know, zombie parts and, uh, and so on to make them cultists look alike. And I just ended up playing cultists. I mean, that was great fun, but I had movement trays and all sorts of keep within the time frame. I have an extensive demon army as well. Uh, this is like half of it almost, uh, the rest is brimstone. Uh, it ended up being an army in itself, but I made it 
in the beginning just to summon into chaos. Back when you could summon in all the Amish uh, and you could get three demons, that was crazy. I brought the, the, uh, the demon army for a WTC in Spain uh, and that had great success. That was quite good, but that was the 200 plus brimstones and nine demon princes. Let's not go there again, but it was fun though. And my next project, the Blood Angels, uh, which I started up as, as being, I wanted that pure army. I painted two models and then I started adding bits to it. So it's a complete Blood Angel army, but they are sons of the Red Emperor instead. Sort of a deviant chapter, you might say. An allied knight as well um, is underway uh, and being worked on. Um, so yeah, it's, again, it's chaos. I couldn't help it. In 2011, back in the day, Jonas and I got new color primers in and we made Colors of War. And my love for Chaos dictated that obviously, if we had to do a Colors of the War poster showing what all these new color primers could do in our spray paint dip done um, technique, it had to be Chaos. Now, this is old school and we're still gonna keep old school, but we're gonna upgrade. I've asked the cultist in the cellar and marketing to actually go and make a new poster with the new color primers coming out. And I can't wait to see it, it's gonna be great. And as we're doing Chaos now, lots of Chaos videos will come up and also this new Colors of War poster, completely updated. I just can't wait to see it. It's gonna be behind the scenes, how we paint it, and it's gonna ultimately end up with a completely new version of this one, where you can really get inspired to paint exactly the evil chapter you wanna go for.